Hey, what's up? Welcome to Degen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Highcroft Mining, ticker symbol HYMC. And one thing you might notice about this chart that's different from the prior videos that I've made is the price, which is now well above $1 at $2.18, which was the close on Wednesday, November 15th, which uh, the reason why it's closed so high is because the reverse split is now behind us. So we are now trading well above $1, which is a requirement for it to be listed on the NASDAQ. And so it's looking pretty safe, looking pretty green. And so I just wanted to go over some of my thoughts on the price action today and uh, moving forward. And so from the prior videos that I've made, you probably know that I expect, or at least expected, more downside than what we saw. And so I'm just going to go over uh, basically my thoughts on whether or not I still think the price will go down or if, you know, we have hit bottom. And so in order to do that, I'm just going to throw up some lines. I had to redraw these since uh, the reverse split has happened. Uh, the only thing that was not changed was these two channels that I have up here. And so I'm going to start with those going over them and then get into some of these levels that I think are and or might be important. And so basically these two channels, I refer to them as bearish consolidation or bear flags. You can clearly see that this one, uh, you know, flag pulled down, uh, consolidation moving upwards that then broke to the downside. Uh, this one, I don't know if you could call it a bear flag because there was really no pull, but bearish consolidation moving up that then broke to the downside. And also these two yellow lines, parallel lines, I have drawn a channel, uh, which I think, uh, you know, I'll take a step back in a second so we can see where those points originate from. Uh, but, you know, I think that channel has been and probably will continue to be pretty important as far as the price action goes moving forward. Uh, but, you know, getting into what happened today. So these are the daily candles. I'm not going to get into the fine tune uh, hourly charts or anything like that. Just wanted to look at the daily. Uh, but we can see this giant green candle, 24% uh, increase on the day. So that's just awesome. That is not what I expected. I expected a little bit of upward movement, like what you saw in these bearish flags, bearish consolidation, and I expected it to actually go down today following the reverse split. So that's not what happened. So if you're holding, if you were able to make and or take some profit on this, congrats to you. I currently don't have a position uh, because as you can see down here, uh, right behind me, I have a dollar fifty marked. That is my entry price, and it didn't hit that. So you know, I've got to stick to my plan, uh, and um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, so um, basically, the low of the day was a dollar sixty three, where we have a tail. You can, actually can't really see it that well because the volume was so big; it covers up that tail. Uh, and so big tail down uh, and a green candle close going up today. So that's just awesome. Uh, but one thing that I noticed is that the open on November 10th is similar to the close of today. And so I thought maybe that's a significant level to be paying attention to. And so the open on November 11th was $2.19. And if you notice, we closed one cent below that. So, you know, I'm wondering, is that a significant level? And is it significant that we closed below it? I'm not really sure. Uh, but, you know, looking at these two candles here, uh, that, that would be on October 30th and October 31st, the close and the open of those days was $2.16.1 cent. So 2.161 is that's what I have marked here in orange. And so I feel like that is really going to be the beginning of resistance because you have all of this sideways consolidation. And so I think getting up towards this red tread line that I have drawn, I think that's going to be a challenge. And also, you know, with this yellow channel that I have drawn here, uh, we closed below the upper side of that channel. So it seems to me like while it might be significant that we closed above 2.161, 
there's still potentially a lot of resistance above us. And so I do feel like this could turn around. I do feel like this could end up being another uh, bearish channel, bearish consolidation before going down some more. Do I think we're close to the bottom? Do I think a dollar sixty three is close to the bottom? Yes, as I mentioned, I'm looking at a dollar fifty. Uh, but you know, with this big green candle, hopefully it continues. Hopefully it keeps going up. Hopefully we hit the bottom. Hopefully I'm wrong. But you know, for myself, following my plan, I am going to wait for it. And, you know, I'll cheer the, on those who are holding and, um, yeah. Uh, but then to take a step back, just to kind of uh, show where these lines come from. So this channel is based on three touch points here. I tried to make them kind of at the beginning of this pattern. Um, and so you could see a touch point from the high on, uh, let's see, uh, July 13th. And then the low on July 17th. And then the high of August 4th. So that's how you get that channel. And as you can see, the close was just below that for today. Could those lines be adjusted? Sure. You know, maybe we close slightly above it. But the point is that we're pretty close to that trend line level. So, you know, it's possible that there will be a turnaround, whether that's in the next day, next week, who knows, but I'm prepared for a downside, just, you know, following my plan. And then this red line that I have is based on the low of uh, March 10th and the low touch point on uh, June 30th. And so that looks like, you know, it kind of is converging around uh, this area. So I do suspect that there will be some resistance moving forward. Uh, there might be some consolidation in this between this red and orange level that I have drawn here. Zoom in a little bit so maybe you can see it better. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I do think that uh, there will be more action around this channel, perhaps breaking out above into this area, into this little wedge, uh, and then maybe retesting the top of that channel as support. But for the time being, I'm waiting for the right time to enter, which for me is not right now. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, let me know in the comments below, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.